Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 24th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Better Than Guilt, and our scripture is Psalm 119. Gimel, be good to your servant that I may live and obey your word. Open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions. I'm only a foreigner in the land. Don't hide your commands from me. I'm always overwhelmed with a desire for your regulations. You rebuke the arrogant. Those who wander from your commands are cursed. Don't let them scorn and insult me, for I have obeyed your laws. Even princes sit and speak against me. But I will meditate on your decrees. Your laws please me. They give me wise advice. Deleth. I lie in the dust. Revive me by your word. I told you my plans, and you answered. Now teach me your decrees. Help me understand the meaning of your commandments, and I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep with sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Keep me from lying to myself. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I've chosen to be faithful. I've determined to live by your regulations. I cling to your laws. Lord, don't let me be put to shame. I will pursue your commands, for you expand my understanding. I recognize this prayer. I'm sorry. Help me understand and obey. Teach me. I'm hanging by a thread here. I'll be good. Sometimes I prayed because I felt guilt, mostly my own, but sometimes it was guilt someone laid at my feet. I never memorized it, but I've prayed every bit of this prayer many times. And yet, like Paul, an apostle with a thorn stuck in his side, the pain keeps coming back. Guilt is like that. It drives you, compels you to the altar day and night. King David knew all about guilt and what it does to you. Psalm 32, when I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Perhaps you've seen a movie where guilt has eaten the insides of a murderer who seemingly got away with his crime. He turns himself in to the authorities after years. Or if he didn't have that courage, when justice uncovers his past, the relief floods like a deluge. Or worse, if the crime isn't uncovered by someone else, the guilty one imposes the penalty himself, taking his life to end the pain. Guilt does what God hardwired it to do in us, drive us to a confrontation with our behavior. There are things we do, all of us, that set off internal alarms which cannot be ignored. It's like sticking your finger in a live 220 volt outlet. Your insides get fried. It's like God is done whispering, can you hear me now? As we look around at the angry behavior in our world, there's little doubt that underneath all that rage brews a storm of guilt, shame, and total frustration over the reality, whether it's conscious or just out of sight, that we offend God with our ways. That offense is at the point of the greatest commandment and its natural cousin, the second great commandment that Jesus taught his disciples. Matthew chapter 22. You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. A second is equally important. Love your neighbor as yourself. The entire law and all the demands of the prophets are based on these two commandments. Now, our disconnect with this, no matter the provocation or circumstance of life, is what causes our disconnect with heaven and the ensuing guilt that drives us to the point of choice. We can either trust God at his word, confess our sin, and obey both commands, or we can suffer the guilt of a powerless life apart from the one who created us. That was King David's conundrum. It was continuing to live in his sin and pride or give it all up to discover real joy. Here's what David chose. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. For you today, David chose honesty before God and discovered that path led to God cleaning up all the darkness of David's inner life. 
so much better than living with guilt. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.